Hi there, Sensei Victoria Whitfield here, and this is your weekly love letter from the dojo at naturalintuition.com, your source for channeled holistic stress management techniques and guidance for developing your natural intuition. In the energy, source wants you to know that your passion is your purpose. Your pleasure has purpose. Let me explain. So many, 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 many times uh, here at the dojo, I have people asking me like, oh, what, I really wanna find what my purpose is in life. Or I really like to discover what's, what's, uh, should I be doing professionally? How do I switch careers into a career that better fits my personality? Or, um, or they'll be explaining that I don't really feel like I'm in the right career. I don't really feel like I'm, I've declared the right major or that I'm with the right person. Be kind to yourself. There is no such thing as coincidence. Nothing just happens. There is a reason, a very beautiful and divine reason, as to why you have certain passions about you and things that drive you, um, pull your attention, your passionate creative energy throughout each day. You're, here's the thing. I'm hearing to tell you. What creates pleasure in you creates life and expansion in the universe. Pleasure is sacred to source consciousness. And so the reason why we have certain things that we are passionate about, certain things that bring us pleasure, is for the expansion of universal life, for the the energy of the engine of the universe, our pleasure, and the things that drive us passionately give her source consciousness the ability to expand. So, the way to find your purpose in any way in life, whether it's um, romantically, socially, personally, professionally, physically, the way to find that inspiration is first and foremost by connecting to your passions and things that bring you pleasure. So what does that mean? Some leading questions could be, where is the first place in Barnes and Noble that you always walk to as soon as you walk in the store? Or whenever you go on Amazon.com, what kind of books are you reaching for when you turn on the TV or when you go on YouTube? What are you constantly watching? What draws you in, right? Or what stores do you frequent when you are out? You know, which subjects in school uh, what types of music were the ones that really got you going, got you emotional, got you fired up? What's on your mind most of the day? What are you thinking about and percolating about? Or whenever this kinds of a discussion comes up, which one really turns you on? When you are turned on, so is the universe. And I'm hearing the oracle cards calling in the energy right now to really encourage you on this self-exploration of your own pleasure paradigm because your pleasure, your passion is sacred. It's absolutely important. Source gave it to you on purpose because you are here to change, to bring expansion, to bring color to specifically what your passions are. Your purpose spans out of them. So the deck is Life Purpose, woo! Oracle Cards Deck by Doreen Virtue. Let's see then which card wants to come forward in the energy for us. Right around mm, passion and purpose, really finding that, increasing it, because the more purpose driven your life is, the more passionate and pleasure filled your life is, the more fulfilled you will feel. Rather than feeling tired, uninspired, um, 
monotonous or predictable. Mm. <laughs> Support. We can see that your life purpose fully supports you. So in the energy, this is where Source wants us to leave off this week. No matter what your passion is, no matter what your gifting, your, your source of pleasure is, you have to trust and know that if you fully give your heart to it, your time, your investment of self and finances, right, and energy, it will fully support you because you were designed because of your pleasure uh, response to it, you were designed to go the distance. You, because you were built to love that, whatever that is, whatever your passion is, because you were built to love it, you'll be able to go the distance way farther than the average person. So send me an email back, comment below, what's coming up for you hearing about this? I'm curious to hear your responses. What's coming up for you? What are, what are those places in the bookstore that you go to? Comment below and subscribe on YouTube so that you get these every week. Mwah! See you! Bye!